Those are my favorite stories that we do, and we have many more coming, I hear, so uh, good stuff. Okay, so take a look at the radar. Not such good stuff. We've had scattered light showers sticking around through the day, but many areas have stayed generally dry through the evening. We just had a few sprinkles around Clemson and Anderson across northeast Georgia, and this is really dwindling with time. We're getting some drier, cooler air that's working in, and that's what's going to lead to a fairly chilly morning tomorrow. Already down in the low 40s for much of the mountains, even 30s for you in Waynesville, and then 40s and 50s in the upstate. We were in the 60s earlier, so pretty quick drop in temperatures. So we'll be looking ahead to that for tomorrow morning and then really not a huge warm up through the day. The wind will stay up too overnight. Not going to be terrible, uh, but enough to make it feel colder outside. 12 miles per hour in Greenville, 17 in Asheville. So for your morning commute, you actually get the green light. Nothing like what you had to deal with this morning. That was just wretched trying to get out, get acclimated on a Monday morning for one, and then have to deal with that heavy rain. I barely got my daughter to school on time this morning because of it. And then you take a look in the afternoon. We'll continue to have the green light for the commute. So no rain expected for the second half of the day. Uh, but we will begin to see showers increase for your evening and overnight. But tonight stays dry. 37 though, so it will be plenty chilly. Maybe warm up the car just a bit before you head out tomorrow morning. Take the hot coffee with you. That's one of my tricks. Getting colder in the mountains with temperatures down to freezing or just below. And then your afternoon will be a bit warmer, but it's going to be cooler than normal for this time of year. You know, we're typically at 60. Yes, that average temperature is going up and up and uh, 60 is what you would expect for this time of year to start March in the mountains, mid 50s. 49. That's as warm as it's going to get through the day. So as we rate the day on the sky meter, it's going to get a passing grade with a seven. But since we have that rain moving back in in the evening, a cold morning, unseasonably cool afternoon temperatures, I didn't want to go too high on it. We will have the clouds early, but they break up fast, so we ought to at least see some sunshine through the day. But we'll be watching to the south and west for our next approaching system. Uh, this is going to be riding up along a cold front, and the main source of the moisture will be to our south. So I, I mentioned that because the higher rain totals will be south of I-85. You can kind of see that as we go through Tuesday night. This is Wednesday morning, 6 a.m., and the darker greens located closer to Newberry, Greenwood, and then over toward Anderson, and then you go farther to the north, a little bit less rain, but it'll still be soggy for your Wednesday morning commute. The rain moves out and there we go. Mostly sunny and that should last at least through Friday, possibly into the weekend. I'll show you why there's some question marks with that one. But rain totals again, you see Greenwood, Newberry seeing a much bigger rain, still nothing too crazy, but just shy of an inch there. And then around the 85 corridor, about a third to maybe half an inch of rainfall late Tuesday into Wednesday. So not a, a blockbuster storm at all, just enough to add to the moisture already in our backyards. Then we stay dry through Friday, but we'll be watching a system for Saturday. Notice the clouds thicken up. Most of the moisture is going to be to our south, but some of the models have just been trying to put out a little bit of light rain for the upstate and a brief wintry mix for the mountains. But notice it's just not going to last all that long. So mostly dry, but still could see a little bit of rain into early Saturday. Sunday looks completely dry. And if that system pushes any farther south, it'll be completely dry on Saturday too. I'm actually keeping rain chances out for now, just increasing cloud cover for the day and highs will be unseasonably cool in the 50s. But for the end of the week, it's going to be gorgeous. Thursday and Friday will be days to get outside and it looks like at least the second half of the weekend should be pretty nice as well. Of course, you'll want to check in on the morning news from 4.30 to 9 for the latest on your forecast anytime throughout your morning.